As vehicle technology advances, a significant question arises. Has the future of internal combustion engines come to an end? With the increasing dominance of electric vehicles, many believe that the era of conventional engines is over. However, amidst this debate, there is an intriguing innovation that is rarely discussed. The rotary vane engine. Could this be the answer to the shortcomings of piston engine designs that have endured for over a century? Now then, in this discussion, we will delve deeper into the great potential of the rotary vane engine and whether it could be a game changer in the automotive industry. As we know, traditional pistons have long dominated the world of engines, and this is not without reason. The design featuring a round piston within a round cylinder offers significant benefits, namely consistent and durable combustion sealing. This advantage is what has made piston engines ubiquitous. Furthermore, the production of piston engines is relatively inexpensive, straightforward, and scalable by increasing the size of the piston and cylinder, or by adding more pistons to enhance power. However, there are inherent disadvantages that cannot be eliminated from this design, namely the conversion of the reciprocating motion of the piston into rotation. The biggest issue with piston engines is the conversion of reciprocating motion into rotation. This conversion results in significant vibrations and imbalances. This is why we need to understand the concept of engine balance in depth and why the RPM limits of piston engines tend to be low. This conversion also requires components such as the connecting rod and crankshaft, two large and heavy parts that increase the size and weight of the engine as well as the number of moving parts, all of which move without being directly involved in the combustion process. So, what about rotary engines? In this context, rotary engines offer clearer advantages. Rotary engines rotate naturally, and since our vehicles require rotational output, for the transmission and wheels. This eliminates the need to convert reciprocating motion into rotation, thereby reducing vibrations, weight, size, and the number of moving parts. However, rotary engines are not without their problems. One of the most well-known rotary engine designs, the Wankel engine, although smoother than piston engines, still features non-rotational movement elements within its rotor that create vibrations and parasitic losses from the necessary gearing. The vibrations produced by this non-rotational movement can affect both the comfort and efficiency of the engine. Additionally, the Vankel engine design typically requires gearing systems to connect the rotor with other components of the engine. The use of gearing can lead to parasitic losses, energy that cannot be used to generate power due to friction and inefficiencies within the gearing system. This is why the rotary vane engine presents an intriguing alternative. This engine rotates solely without non-rotational movement, without an eccentric crankshaft, and without additional gearing, which means significantly less parasitic loss. The rotor of this engine can be directly connected to the transmission or wheels, producing smooth output with minimal vibrations, making it more akin to an electric motor than a conventional internal combustion engine. The rotary vane engine also boasts several other advantages, such as exceptionally high low-end torque. In piston engines, the lever arm used to generate torque moves inconsistently throughout the combustion cycle, resulting in brief and inefficient torque output. Conversely, in the rotary vane engine, the lever arm remains constant during the combustion cycle, and the force of combustion consistently acts on the end of the lever arm, allowing for significantly greater and more stable torque at low RPMs. In this regard, the rotary vane engine closely resembles an electric motor. However, unlike electric motors that require large batteries, the rotary vane engine utilizes conventional fuel to produce high torque output with greater efficiency than either piston or Wankel engines. Then, how does it work? First of all, the rotary vane engine operates using the principle of a circular rotor spinning inside an elliptical housing. This rotor is equipped with four vanes that extend in and out towards the housing walls. These vanes divide the internal space into several compartments, with the volume of these spaces continuously changing as the rotor rotates. Air intake process. Air enters through the intake ports as the rotor and vanes rotate, initially filling the large compartment created by the vanes. 
compression process. As the rotor continues to turn, the vanes push the air into smaller and smaller spaces, compressing it progressively until it reaches high pressure. Combustion. Once the air is fully compressed, fuel is injected into the chamber and the air-fuel mixture is ignited by a spark plug. The resulting combustion pushes the vanes, driving the rotor further around. Expansion and torque output. As the air-fuel mixture combusts, the expanding gases force the vanes to rotate, generating torque that drives the engine's output. Exhaust. After combustion, the vanes push the exhaust gases out through the exhaust ports as the compartment volume decreases again. Each full 366DD rotation of the circular rotor produces four combustion events. This contrasts with the Wankel engine, which only has one combustion event per full rotation of the eccentric shaft. Compared to a traditional four-stroke piston engine, which requires two full rotations, or 720 degshin of crankshaft rotation, for just one combustion event, the rotary vane engine is significantly more powerful and efficient. One of the key advantages of the rotary vane engine is the absence of reciprocating motion, which is typical of piston engines. This eliminates the need for components like connecting rods and crankshafts and avoids complexities like cylinder heads. The rotary vane engine is designed to produce more torque with fewer moving parts, making it simpler and more efficient. One of the greatest advantages of the rotary vane engine is its efficiency. In piston or wankel engines, the surface area of the piston or rotor exposed to combustion remains constant throughout the combustion cycle. As a result, much of the combustion energy is lost as heat that cannot be converted into useful work. However, in the rotary vane engine, the surface area exposed to combustion increases as the vane rotates, allowing for more energy to be extracted from the combustion process, similar to the principles used in the Atkinson cycle. Instead of prolonging the combustion cycle, the rotary vane engine expands the combustion chamber during the combustion process, enabling more effective utilization of the combustion energy. Despite the many advantages of the rotary vane engine, it is not without its shortcomings, much like piston and wankel engines. One of the biggest challenges is ensuring effective sealing between the different combustion chambers. This is certainly not a new issue. For your information, the Vankel engine is also notorious for its sealing problems. In the rotary vane engine, increased RPM results in greater centrifugal force on the vane, which increases friction and leads to faster wear. However, with the application of modern technology, it may be possible to address these issues. One solution is to use contactless gas seals, where a small gap between the vein tips and the housing creates a choke effect that prevents significant leakage without increasing friction. Piezoelectric technology, such as that used by Rolls-Royce in their jet engines, can also ensure the ideal distance between the vein and the housing, thus maintaining optimal performance without mechanical contact. After hearing about the impressive capabilities of the rotary vane engine, the most fundamental question arises. If the rotary vane engine is so remarkable, why hasn't it been widely adopted? Several factors can help answer this question. Firstly, the piston engine industry has benefited from over a century of technology refinement and supportive manufacturing infrastructure. In contrast, the development of the new and exotic rotary vane engine would require significant investment in research and development, as well as the establishment of new supply chains. Moreover, the development of new technology always faces commercialization challenges. Successful testing and development of prototypes often require substantial funding, which is difficult to secure without strong support from the industry or government. Despite efforts from individuals such as Professor Roy Hartfield, who has attempted to develop this engine, the lack of financial backing has hindered further progress. Additionally, the rotary vane engine has the potential to be more efficient in terms of emissions, although this has not yet been fully demonstrated in real-world testing. With higher combustion efficiency, this engine could potentially reduce exhaust emissions compared to conventional piston engines. In the context of the global transition to cleaner energy, the rotary vane engine could serve as an interesting mid-term solution before the full adoption of electric vehicles, 
which still face significant challenges in energy storage and charging infrastructure. In theory, the rotary vane engine offers significant advantages over piston and wankel engines, including greater torque, higher efficiency, lighter weight, and simpler moving parts. However, technical challenges such as sealing and friction at high RPMs must be addressed before this technology can be widely adopted. Furthermore, the barriers to commercialization and the dominance of mature piston engine technology make the near-term adoption of the rotary vane engine unlikely. Nevertheless, with advancements in modern material and manufacturing technology, the rotary vane engine has the potential to become a major player in the internal combustion engine industry in the future, especially during the transition towards full electrification. In conclusion, the rotary vane engine may not be widespread yet, but with the right investment and a willingness to innovate, it could become a game-changing engine technology in the future. So, what do you think about the rotary vane engine? Will it contribute to the future of engineering? Share your thoughts in the comments below.